We had a love affair because we all loved the game. And, and one thing I always, always respected about Larry and Kevin, during their premium years, they got better every year they came back. Every year they was better. They didn't rely and live off what they did the past season. And I think that's one of the reasons why we have so much respect and admiration for one another. Because we took the game seriously. We didn't care whether you were at the top of the, uh, of the division or at the bottom. You know, we were trying to rip you new. And, and that's the attitude you got to have night in and night out to be successful. Well, we, we came to play. We came to win. It was a really good passing team and very unselfish team. There just wasn't any doubt in my mind that we were going to win. Larry looking for the Chiefs. Oh. That fake. Oh. Got it. Oh, boy. What a play. Larry well, we had Larry, which uh, was a great offensive force. He had the respect of the, of the officials, and plus he was able to create offense not only for himself, but for, for Kevin and myself. And the one thing that the three of us had going for us, we could all shoot the basketball. We was all great finishers. Larry uh, was able to create a lot of offense uh, for Kevin and myself, but we got a lot of points. I like to go back and see how many layups and dunks I got because of, of Larry, you know, his creativity. Bird coming around. Oh, what a pass to Parrish! Get that on me, Harris. Take away my jump shot. You know, hey, look at all of us. When you play with Larry Bird, believe me, I mean, Larry's going to get the lion's share, and he should have. Loop it into McHale. Back to Bird for three. Bird winds up again. Three points. Three for three. Bird kept it alive to one for two. Well, Larry uh, was uh, more reserved, kept to himself, and uh, that, I think it's one of the reasons why he was uh, an ideal leader, because he wasn't very vocal. He led by example every night, practices also. The bird of the break, Seasting is with him. Larry to McHale for two. What a pass on the bird. Talk about Lies one and all the other great ones. They're great. But, uh, uh, Kevin is, was as good as, as anybody I've ever seen. Uh, he probably gave up more than anybody. Uh, he didn't demand it. He, he liked his shots. And I think everybody, when you play in a really good team, everybody sacrifices for each other because, but it's not a sacrifice. It's, it's just that if, if Robert had it going, which he did many nights, we, he just got the ball. If, if Robert and Larry had it going, I just knew I wasn't going to get as many shots. It was a big deal. You know, the next night might be my night. We got ours. And, and you know, our goal was to have one more point than the other team. Now by Walt, back to Bird. Again, Paris beats his man, got the layup and a foul. Robert was fantastic. He was a guy that was just dependable. Robert, every single night, just did his job. You know, he did it very quietly. He went about his business. But protected the paint, rebounded the ball, scored in the post. You know, he just he just did his job on a nightly basis at really really a high level. Over the top, Harris the block on Jay. I can't tell you how many times at the end of the break, Robert and I were the, were on the board, and we were also out in front because we all ran everybody. What an asset, Robert Parrish. If you keep if Robert ran the court and you can keep the happy, give him the ball, you know most of the time to finish off. That kept Robert happy because you don't like big men out running when they don't get the ball. So you had to reward him somewhere. Beautiful lead pass There's just so many shots to go around. That's why we always try to get 100 shots up a game. If we knew we'd get 100 field goal attempts, everybody would be satisfied. Here's McHale's turnaround. Buries it over Levin. And go to your bread and butter. In the end, us being a great team meant more than any, any individual thing or, or anything like that. It was just kind of one of those teams that um, had we all just been on different teams, I guys tell people we would have scored more and we'd have won less. So I, I'd much, I'd much rather take winning than playing. I think uh, one of the reasons why Larry and Kevin, myself, are uh, Hall of Famers, I don't think it's so much our individual talents, is that we was on great teams. We played on great teams. You know, we had a one hell of a run, and I think that's the, the main reason, in my opinion, why we in the Hall.